The Russian paratroop regiment's motto is nobody but us. Earning that blue beret will push you harder than you've ever been pushed in your life. They say, once a para, always a para. And many of the conscripts like a permanent reminder. That's all. You beauty, you're one of us now. Dress right. Eyes forward. Dress right. Attention. Hand-to-hand -hand combat maneuvers. On my count, by division. One. Two. Three. Four. My new regiment in Novorossiysk is heavily focused on combat training, and every day we're out on the square learning our unarmed fighting drills. At the moment, we work individually, but it won't be too long before we're facing off against each other. It's the elite. And a real man has to be ahead of everyone, to be the best. I think that the paratroopers are the greatest. Just like in Tula, everyone is assigned various responsibilities each day. I'm back on guard duty, although this time I'm at the front of the base, rather than in the barracks. Duty guard for the control point. Reason for your visit. Returning to base. Your documents. Security is paramount. Every vehicle that drives up has to be thoroughly checked. Even our own trucks. Nobody takes any chances here. It's only after we've looked into every nook and cranny that they're allowed on the base. I'm not sure whether it's the benefit of experience, but everyone seems more confident here. And it's a good thing, because our live fire exercises are about to be ramped up. It's a tough job for the man in charge. Sometimes I get tired of ordering people. It happens from time to time that guys don't obey me. But I was given the task of commanding the company and I have to do it. So in any case, I'll remember this time with a smile. It was tough sometimes, but everything will be fine. I'm sure. We'll do our military duty. Today, the war games really got started. We were assaulting a hill with full armor support. The machine gunner goes first. Second is... Private Brown. Private Brown. After him, the squad leader. You're next. And you bring up the rear beside the vehicle. Everyone, mind your distance. Look around to check for your comrades. And remember you're using live ammunition. So your life depends on following the safety procedures. And you have to come back safe and sound. Any questions? No, sir! I was crouched in the bottom of a boiling hot tank. There's barely room to breathe, let alone move. Go, go! And then just like that, you're out and running. Get into position! Number one, go! Run, run! Our six-man squad spread out and headed to our places. Attack! Move up! Number one, go! We were moving at a rate of knots. Run, crouch, and fire. But you've got to make sure the right person is in your sights. Stop! Don't shoot! Move there, Jubadilov. He's aiming right in front of you. And you've got two close to each other. Don't shoot when you're behind someone. Number one, go! Heading downhill, it's a nightmare just staying on your feet. Although when the tank and the grenade launcher open up alongside you, it does tend to push you forward. By the time we hit the bottom, my legs were in agony. As I tumbled into my foxhole, I don't think I could have taken another step. We get around an hour and a half each day to ourselves, and at least there's a TV room where we can chill out. 
Most of the time I just use it to recover, or to write to you, of course. But there's always someone new to chat with. What was the hardest moment for you here? Here in the army? Well, probably all the physical training. Apart from that, some drills, like marching drills. Jumping isn't easy either. And after the army, have you decided what you want to do yet? No, I'm studying at university and want to find a good job and be the best in my field of logistics. If possible, I'd like to stay in the army as a contractor, because they pay well now and allow you to do external studies. Life in the dormitory is like being in a five-star hotel. You sleep so much better when you only have to deal with two other people snoring. Hey, how are you, James? I'm good. How are you? Good enough. Nothing special. And I'm going to need all the energy I can get. We've been building up to our first day of full sparring, and most of the time we're working on shadow boxing and evasive maneuvers. Come on, come on. You're slacking. Sharper hits. You hit with a straight arm. And you block. Understand? Attention, everyone. Get ready. So, practice speed. Continue with your right arm. Once we've warmed up, it's time to pick a partner and start scrapping. Fight. Because eventually, you're going to have to pull on the gloves and the headgear and try and knock the hell out of each other. Come on, come on, use your legs. Come on, come on. Too slow. Defend, defend, block. Come on, come on, Bogdanov. Come on, come on. Stop. Dismissed. I last did karate about 20 years ago. I'm going to have to remember it fast. In the meantime, I was taking on one of the Mountain Regiment's toughest challenges, the DCP assault course. The whole thing is a hellish endurance test. Climbing, jumping, abseiling, and shooting with no chance of a break. Move, move! Crouch down, you two! Cover them! The idea is to train you to overcome extreme conditions. Whether you're walking along narrow ledges... James, move, move! Raise your gun! Faster! Or leaping down canyons. You watch your friends back and clear out any oncoming enemies. This paratrooper's obstacle course must be crossed by a division as a whole. It means that the success of fulfilling tasks doesn't depend on a single soldier, but on cooperation between soldiers of this division. Cover each other! Until the end! Each soldier polishes the skills he had acquired before coming here from their own units. So we improve what they had already learned before. As you can see, soldiers manage this obstacle course well. The divisions work in coordination. It's okay, James. It's war. Move, move. It's things like this that make you realize just how fit a paratrooper needs to be. I got to the climbing wall, and I had nothing left to give. Look, you're grabbing it wrong. Take it like that. There's a hold, you see? Use your fingers like that. Push closer to the rock. Feel it. Lie on it. Put your right leg there. Stand up and straighten it. Come on, come on! Try harder! To the end! The blue hold. Come on! It's too hot. 
I can't I have no more strength. That's it. So our obstacle course ends here with this climbing wall. If you fail to do your task here, you let the whole group down. His life and his life depend on you. You must cooperate. If one of you fails, it means all of you fail. Right, use your head. You have to think. Now's the time when you think. Higher, higher. Go. There you are. Keep going. Excellent. That's it. Great. Grab the loop. Come on. But it's one for all and all for one here. There's always someone there to help you get through. Come on, there's not much left. Come on, come on, do it yourself. Come on, well done. Stand up. Well done. It's done. Come on. You've got a satisfactory result. I'm pleased with you. The task is complete. You've done well. I've got nothing to say. Excellent. Give me five. Comradeship is vital in the army. We try to build a good team spirit to make a friendly atmosphere. I help you today, tomorrow you help me. You couldn't get through the fence today and you got stuck. I helped. Tomorrow I could fail too and, God forbid, injured myself. And you'll help me. That's what's important in the army, friendship and a close-knit team. In situations like this, real team spirit reveals itself. You can see straight away who's your friend, who's not. All the training in the world can't really prepare you for an actual fight, though. I'm just hoping it's true that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Don't touch the headgear, OK? No grabbing it. No hits to the groin. Kick or low kicks at best, nothing more. If anything happens, break off immediately. Ready? Begin. James! You okay? <laughs> James, are you alright? <laughs> Raise your hands. Ready? Ready? Not really, no. 